In this movie, I'm going to show you how to slice your buttons and export them so that you can use them in a web page. I have all of my layers visible. The button one, button two, and the background layer are at the top, so my up version is what I'm looking at. I'm going to slice this using the slice tool, which is behind the crop tool. I'm going to carefully put in two slices. Be careful, but don't be fanatical about it, because if you do make a mistake, which I'm going to deliberately do right now, I'm going to not go all the way to the end, you can go and edit and adjust. So I've got my two slices completed. I'm going to use my slice select tool, which is directly below the slice tool, because that will allow me to give these names, which will persist when I go to save them. So I'm going to choose my slice select tool, and I'm going to name this button one up. I'll hit OK to save that name, and I'll double click on this one, and I'll call it button two up. Once I've done that, I can save these. And when you want to save these for use on the internet, you choose save for web and devices. You have two choices if you're going to pres preserve the transparency options. You can either do them as a GIF or as a ping. I like ping 8. I think it gives you nice, sharp, clear colors. And I'm going to choose this one. That looks good to me. We could all, oh, that's showing it as a GIF. We definitely want a ping 8. Sharp, clear, fast. Very nice. Okay. And I've used my shift with my slice select tool so that I can export them both at the same time. I'm going to select save and I'm going to name them buttons for web and I'm going to save them on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. Now let's look at my desktop and you'll see that it created an images file. And then I have button up and button up two. Okay, to save the down version of these, it's very simple. I don't have to slice them again. My slicing is persistent, so I would just turn off the up layers, and I would double click on them again, and I would change the names to down. That way, when I save them, they will be saved with the new name. And I should be able to take the same settings, File, Save for Web and Devices, make sure to use my Shift option here, Ping 8, they look good, going to hit Save, Buttons Down, and I'm going to hit save, and it should also go into my images folder. Let's take a quick look. Here's images. And in images, I have button one up, button one down. And you can see that they've changed the directions of the shadows and the color of the button. We can then take them to the next step and put them into Dreamweaver with the mouse over effect.